Hey guys, what's up? It's Mokozonki, and welcome to one of the two new Slayer creatures that just came out. This one is Adamant Dragons. They're also Runite Dragons, who will be covered in a future guide, and we'll go over how to kill those eventually. But for now, we're just going over the Adamant Dragons, because they are the easier monsters to kill, and you can get assigned them from Kuradil, as well as Morvran, so more people will be able to access them, and they don't have any super high quest requirements, such as Ritual of the Majorat, which you need for the Runite Dragons. So the Adamant Dragons are not amazing in terms of XP. Their drops are fairly okay, especially if you decide to bank the bones, and you can get drops such as Visages and Dragon Full Helms, which if you're lucky enough to get them, those can add up to a good amount of loot as well. But in this video, we'll be covering how to kill the Adamant Dragons and the setup that you want to take, and also how to get there. So let's go into how to slay Adamant Dragon. Here's the gear setup that I would recommend for killing the Adamant Dragons. And of course, with the range, you do have the Dragon Main Bolts there. And if you don't have Ascension Crossbows, Chaotic Crossbows work okay with the Dragon Mains as well. Magic, of course, is what they're weak to, so I have the Seismix there. Or you can also swap that out for Chaotic Staff, Virtus Wanted Book. They're very weak to air spells, so Tier 80 should work absolutely fine. I'm also using a Demon Horn and Bone Crusher. The bones give about the same XP as Oarg bones, so over time they will be around 7k per bone. If you'd rather bank those with a Yak or use Magic Note Paper, that's fine. You'll just need extra prayer potions that way. And the inventory has Overloads, Antifires, Prayer Pots, because you'll be constantly turmoiling and using Soul Split with the Bone Crusher Demon Horn combo. A Steel Titan really helps out here as well, and also I brought a Spring Cleaner, which is probably not the best idea, because Adamant Bars are cheap enough where you'll actually lose money using the Spring Cleaner, but I did bring it along to give you an example of how much you'll get in drops in terms of just the Adamant Bars from the Dragons themselves. So this is the route for how to get to the Adamant Dragons from the Brimhaven Lodestone, which is the easiest way to get there. Just jump into the Brimhaven Dungeon. If you have completed the Elite Karamja tasks, you can bring your gloves along with you, and this will get you access to a shortcut, which shaves about 20 to 30 seconds off of the trip. So it's a really good idea if you do have those gloves to bring them. If not, you have to run all the way through the dungeon, which isn't really that bad. And as soon as you get to that area with the stairwell that you can climb down, it's the Adamant Dragons area. There's several areas within the sub-dungeon that you can go to that require Slayer levels to go through the portals. However, even on day of release, there's not that many people there, so finding an empty place where you can kill Adamant Dragons should not be a problem at all. So for the actual killing of the Adamant Dragons themselves, one interesting thing about these is they are aggressive, although only one is aggressive at a time. So one thing that you can potentially do is if you have a decent enough defensive setup and overloads an armadillo armor with soul split active and a bone crusher is enough for this, is you can just leave the computer and let auto retaliate take care of it for you for as long as your anti-fire and overload last. So that's one thing you can do alternatively if you want to get the task done as soon as possible, and it won't take long because they're not assigned in very large numbers. I was assigned 37 of them and it only took about 11 minutes to kill all of them, is you can summon your Steel Titan and just go ham, and you want to be sure that you're using Death Swiftness as much as possible. Use area of effect abilities such as Ricochet and Bombardment because a lot of times the Adamant Dragons will clump up and you'll be able to hit multiple of them at once. Also, auras like Invigorate and items like the Ring of Vigor can really help with using ultimates more often. And you just want to get off all of your thresholds within the ultimate. It's pretty standard stuff in terms of slain. And these guys do go down fairly quickly. However, this does not mean they're great XP. Just because it's only 656 Slayer XP per kill, which is not a lot considering the immense amount of HP that Adamant Dragons have. Honestly, this task might be a really good idea to just AFK it, just because the task is so short, so it might not be worth canceling for people who are short on Slayer points, just because you're only going to be down here for about 15, maybe 20 minutes if you do have lower tier weapons, but the task itself will not take that long. The loot, unfortunately, is not amazing. You'll get a lot of runite items and noted adamant bars and ulogs, but nothing to get all that excited about unless you get super lucky and get a dragon full helm, of course. But other than that, the adamant dragons are not a horrible task just because it takes so little time. However, this is not one of the main tasks that you're going to be looking forward to in order to get 99 Slayer or 120 as fast as possible because the XP is good, but not great. And this is everything that I got from the Adamant Dragons task. Only a few noted U-logs and Adamant bars. There were a lot of other stuff like uncut diamonds, Adamant play bodies that I couldn't pick up because I brought way too many prayer potions along. All of the Adamant ore and coal is crushed with the spring cleaner. Again, it's not worth using the spring cleaner. You'll just lose money, so don't bring that. But that's just a representation of how much those Adamant bars would be worth if you did magic note paper them or something. 
All right, that's going to do it for the Adamant Dragons. They're a little bit disappointing in terms of the drops and the XP. Let me know what you guys think about them, but I will also be checking out Rune Dragons in a few days, and once they calm down a little bit and there's not 5 million people on each world, and we'll see if those are any better in terms of loot and XP and all that. But until then, I'll see you guys next time, so enjoy your lives and farewell. Thank you.